Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. This is going to be a shopping haul video. So basically I've been shopping and in this video I'm going to show you what I bought. Now I've got stuff from New Look, I've got stuff from uh, Primark and Superdrug to show you. If you enjoy this video, which I really hope you do, please click like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, if you want to follow me and add me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. So come and follow me and add me. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to show you are my new knee-high boots. They are from New Look and they were £30. So they're like this lovely tan brownie colour. This kind of ruffled look, so instead of like laying flat on your leg, they kind of like ruffle up, which I really like this kind of style. They've got like a nice pointed toe and I like the heel. There's a bit of grip under there and the heel and stuff. Um, I've got the zip. The zip only goes like halfway, it doesn't go up the whole boot, it just goes like halfway. Um, I love them and they're really nice, but I'm not sure on this bit tie up thing. I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just, I don't know. I mean, they're not awful, but it's just, you know, is it going to feel irritating as I'm walking along? Will I feel like the little tie up lace on my leg? I don't know, but um, I really like them, I think they're really nice. And I really needed a pair of these because my other tan boots that I had started to get like little holes in the heels and stuff like that. It was time for them to go, which is really sad because they're so cool, but you got to move on. I'm such a hoarder, like even with my clothes, like, you know, if I get used to my clothes or if they're comfy, I'm like, I don't want to give them away. But I think it's time to go because yeah it's not good especially if it's raining and there's like holes and stuff like all the water goes through into my feet and stuff but anyway so i've got those from new look and i did have to get them in a size seven and i'm only a size five the reason why is because i put the size five on and i could barely get them on like they got half up my leg and i was like Ugh, trying to yank them on not happening then i tried a size six the next size up and they got on but they were quite tight around my leg like, i haven't got big legs or anything but well maybe i have i don't know but they was just like proper tight and cutting in so i was like no but i thought one more i'm gonna try a size seven and they actually fit really well like they were a little bit big like for example at the toe my foot like ends there like my toes in there but there's the rest of the shoe here but you don't notice and all I've got to do is wear like a thick pair of socks with them and it's fine but they're not like really silly big they don't look like clown shoes or anything like that but I think that's the first time in my life I've ever had to buy like a size 7 shoe anyway so that is the boots from New Look they've got some lovely boots in there by the way ankle boots, knee length boots they've got nice shoes I love New Look for like shoes and boots and stuff like that they do some good stuff some of the clothes in New Look's nice some of it just, I don't know not so nice some of it's like really young like I feel like a lot of their fashion is for like younger people like teenagers and it's all cropped and short and tight and I'm like mm. but then I you know I have had nice stuff from there as well so it's kind of hit and miss with their clothes but their shoes and boots and trainers trainers and stuff are really cool anyway I'm rambling on sorry my next thing I want to show you is this t-shirt which I picked up from Primark this was five pound and yep five pound and it says chill <laughs> chill now i really like this t-shirt because on my other youtube channel i make videos to help people relax and to chill out okay i make asmr videos and basically the videos help people with anxiety insomnia depression some people watch them just to like you know well chill out and relax so yeah i thought when i saw this t-shirt saying chill i thought that was so apt and perfect for me to wear like whether I do a live stream on my other channel or videos and stuff like that so yeah I picked that up it fits really well it's nice and baggy nice and loose um, so that was from Primark also from Primark I got this skirt here so this was six pound and if I got to position it properly because what it is is a little like split at the side so this bit goes like to the side and there's like a little can you see that a little split at the side at the front and you've also got these buttons going all the way down here i really like it and it's black and white stripes very slimming kind of coloring and stuff you know when the stripes are going downwards it's supposed to be like super slimming and stuff like that it did look really nice it did look really smart and um 
yeah, I really like it. And it kind of reminds me of like circusy. You know, I love all things circus, and it just kind of reminded me of like a circusy kind of clothes. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I was a bit paranoid at first because it is a bit longer than normal. Like normally my skirts I wear, not like really, really short, but short-ish because I'm only short in height. Um, and that was like just kind of under the knee kind of area. I was like, is this too long? Does it look silly? But when I tried it on with some knee-high boots and a top, it actually looked really nice. And um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, I also picked up this sweatshirt from Primark, lovely purple sweatshirt. I love the colour purple, this is just so nice and it's really soft. I love Primark sweatshirts, they're so comfortable, they fit well and you can like dress them up, dress them down. I either wear them with like a little skirt and some boots and stuff or just with like jeans and trainers and I just love their sweatshirts, they do some great sweatshirts in there. So this was like I took the tag off, I can't remember if it was like five fifty or five pound, but it was something like that. Um and they oh, <laughs> I just hit myself with the face of it, but they're really comfortable. <laughs> Anyway, um, also I picked up two lipsticks from Superdrug. So, well, this is a lip balm, like a tinted lip balm. This is a lipstick. So this is from Collection. This is lovely pink. There you go, twist that up there. So that's the colour of that one. You see that? And the lady in there said it's supposed to really help if you've got, like, dry, chapped lips. And I was like, yeah, I've got very chapped. My lips always get super dry and chapped all the time, whether it's hot weather or it's cold weather, they're always just like chapped and cold and dry and there. Anyway, so yeah, this is nice. Um, I'll do a little swatch on my hand for you. Um, ignore the scratch on my hand. I don't know how I did that. I think it was like during my sleep. I just scratched my hand. But that is the colour of that one. And this is um, Cupcake Pink, this one. I like the name of that lipstick. Cupcake Pink. So this is like a lighter pink. I'll do a little swatch there. There we go, that one. I love that. I mean, I like them both, but that lighter one is like ooh, ultimate in like my favourite colour lipstick. So, got those two. Um, also from Superdrug, I found this. And this is an advent calendar, but not a Christmas advent calendar. I didn't even know they did advent calendars that weren't like Christmas themed. Um, but anyway, so basically this was in the reduction sale items bit. It was reduced from £12 to £5, which is an absolute bargain. And what it is, it's a perfume advent calendar. So if I turn the box around, I can show you the back of the box. You can see all um, what is inside, all the different perfumes. Um, so yeah. These are supposed to be like really nice. I think Bloom is Superdrug's like own range of perfume, if I'm correct. If I'm not, sorry, but I'm sure it is They're like their own range. And there's all different like nice smells, chocolate, sugar and spice, pink grapefruit, lime and ginger, etc. So yeah, basically you just open up the little doors like you would, you know, with your Christmas advent calendar and there's little perfume bottles behind. So let's open them up and see what perfumes you get and what they smell like. They might be really horrible, or they might be really nice, who knows? So first of all, I love the look of it though, look. It's like a little house with all the little like windows and stuff. I like the little flowers outside and the little details, like the lampshade there and stuff. It's just really pretty to look at. I hope they do like a Christmas version. I think they probably will. I don't know, but I think they probably will. Oh. Okay, so the first one, I hope these are going to be easy to get out, because, <laughs> there we go, it's, there we go, it's there. Right, so this is mandarin and lime basil. So, cute little bottle. Nice little bottle. So, let's have a smell. Oh, it just, it's not a spray bottle, you just, like, dab it on. Oh, that's nice. Oh, love that. That, like, seriously. I'm going to be honest, by the way. If I sniff any of these and be like, Ugh, I'm just going to tell it how it is, okay? But that, oh, that's really, I really like that. Very, very fresh. I like that a lot. So that's mandarin and lime basil. That's that one. I mean, you can probably get these on eBay, maybe. Like, look on eBay for the, it's called Bloom Collection Countdown to Spring. And do not worry, I did ask if, like, they're not out of date or anything. She was like, no, 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 it's fine. I was like, okay. Because you have to be careful, do you know what I mean, with your skin and stuff. 
Right, the next one coming out is Pink Grapefruit. Ooh, they're a little bit difficult to get out. There we go, look, it's, it's like, let me out. There we go. Right, so this is Pink Grapefruit. I do like the little bottles though, because I've got like a little perfume thing and I, I put my perfumes on it. So these do look really cute on the little tray with my perfume, the other perfumes. I'm not sure about that. I, I, was, I was just going to go like that, trying to have a smell. I sometimes literally think this camera is like a real person, because I'm so used to filming and chatting to the camera. I was like, do you want to smell? It's kind of, it's not horrible, but... Mm, I mean, I'm not sure if I like that one. It's not horrible by any means, but it's just a bit, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like the smell of grapefruit. I might ask my mum if she wants that one, because she uh, uses a grapefruit shower gel sometimes, so she might like the smell of grapefruit more than me. All right, number three, where are you? Is this number three? Yeah. Just literally, like a little advent calendar. Open the little door. So this is cherry and almond. Oh, an hour to go out the little things right here we go yeah this is cherry and almond what's it going a bit now i like the smell of cherries so oh yeah that's nice yeah that really does smell like cherry i mean obviously i'm supposed to put it on my skin but if i put all these on my skin it'll all get like mixed up all the different scents so i'm just kind of sniffing the bottle for now yeah, I quite like that one actually. It's very sweet, like really, really sweet. You can definitely smell more cherry than almond. It's like a, a cherry perfume, not really much almond. I'll put that in the like. I've got two piles over here. One I'm not so keen about and the others I like, so that's cool. Uh, right, number four. Where are you? Up the top corner here. Come on. <laughs> All right, this is... There, citrus blossom. Citrus blossom, okay. Now I do like citrusy smells with perfumes and stuff, so. Oh, oh no, oh. <laughs> oh no, I can't smell, I can't even smell that one again. That's like, oh, that smells like pollen. <laughs> and I've got hay fever, so I'm like, oh. You know when you're walking along and you can like smell the pollen in the air kind of smell, that smells like that. Do not like that at all. No, don't like that one. I did say I would be upfront and honest. I can't help it. I'm just see who I am. Um, right, where are we going? Number five. Oh, that was not good. Oh, <coughs> oh no. Some of these doors are like proper. Look, I'm just like <laughs> ripping it to shreds. Now this one is chocolate chocolat. Oh, get out. There we go. Okay, this is supposed to be chocolate. Okay. Please be nice. Please smell like chocolate. Oh, what's that? Oh, Ooh, yeah. That really does smell like chocolate. That's so weird. I've never smelled a chocolate perfume. I've smelled a chocolate um, body spray. Nathan used to have the Lynx, I think it was, chocolate body spray. But this kind of smells, I know this is going to be weird to say, but it's like a chocolate but liquid, like liquidized chocolate smell. I don't know, it's weird to explain, but it definitely mm, smells like chocolate, like cocoa butter kind of smell, chocolate. Mm. Me laggy, laggy that. Okay, uh, where are we up to? Where is my next one? Oh, down here. This is a floral, floral bouquet. I hope this ain't going to be all like pollen -y again, because my hay fever. <laughs> Literally, I, if I walk past like flowers in the supermarket, or if mum's ever got flowers in the front room, I'm like, <coughs> sneeze, sneeze, my eyes all, uh, it's really bad. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that one. What was that one? I get floral bouquets, actually really nice. 
And the thing is, apparently, they if you like these smells, they do sell them individually as perfumes. Like, you don't just have to get them in a little advent calendar. You can buy them individually in, like, a bigger size bottle. Because, obviously, this is just, like, a mini version. So, say, for example, I thought, oh, I really love floral bouquet. I could get, like, a, a bigger version. I think it was about £8 or £6, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, you can buy the original um, individual perfumes. But this is... Mmm. It's really, really nice, that one. I don't know if I like the first one or this one more, but that one's lovely. Okay. Right, where are we on now? Okay, number eight. It's up here. Top of the shop. This one is... I don't know how to say this. Some of them have put the... Like, shoved in there. Ugh, there we go. Look, it's like they don't want to... They don't want to get out. Got you. I think this is, well it says cucumber, but it says bergamot, I'm probably saying it completely wrong, if you can read that, you probably can't say that, but it's, but it looks like bergamot, berge, bergamot, bergamot, I don't know, and cucumber, I like the smell of cucumber, it's very like a refreshing smell, so, ooh, well that's weird, I don't know if I like it or not. It kind of smells a little bit like 7-Eleven. You remember like the old, um, my grandma, bless her, used to love it. My mum still got it over there. Like an old, old ladies, a little bit older ladies perfume. Grandma used to wear it. It kind of smells a bit like that. A very cool and refreshing smell, but not horrible, but not amazing. Just a bit, a bit different. Different is good. Different is good. So yeah, it's all right. Um... What was that? Number eight. So number nine. Where are you? Have I done number? Oh no, number nine's down here. Uh, this is if it wants to come out. Hold on. What have I got? Number six still in here. Oh my god. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just like. Oh, I do you know. What? I'm just. I can't bother. This is stressing me out. I'm just literally gonna open the whole thing to pull them out of here because. It's just driving me back mad. I'm just gonna get them out of, of, of that packaging because I just wanna know what the perfume smell like. Okay, come on. Right, I think they're all out. No, they're not. Right, I've got two more left to get out. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this at the beginning. I was always like this as a kid with my advent calendar. Like I'd get mixed up with what like numbers I've done and not done. Right, okay, it's all empty. Boom, all gone. Right, they're all here in front of me. These ones. So let's have a look. I've got berry, uh, cass cassis, and fig. There's that little one. What's this smell like? Ooh. Oh no. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh. Goes right down the throat. Like as you sniff in, it's like, oh, yeah. oh no, I don't like you. It's this berry cassis and fig that can go over there. Um, this is vanilla bean. Now I like the smell of vanilla, so we might be all right with this one. Hopefully, it's better than that one. Anyway, that one smelt like old grass, <laughs> like horrible grass that you've trod on a few times and it's been raining on. And anyway, oh, that's nice. That's, I like that. That's for, you can't go wrong with a bit of vanilla. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Vanilla bean. I like you. I like vanilla. Okay, you've got to twist the little lids on, make sure they are secure. Uh, this one's sugar and spice and all things nice. Okay. Are you going to be nice, though, sugar and spice? Let's see. Oh, oh, that's, that's mank. <laughs> Sorry. By the way, if any of these perfumes like your favourite perfume and you're like, whatever, I'll wear that every day, I'm really sorry to have caused any offence. I'm just being honest, I'm just saying what it you know, what my view is of these perfumes. Everyone's different. If we're all the same, it'd be a pretty boring place, but I don't want to cause like offence to anybody. Oh, that is just disgusting. I can smell more spice than sugar. Let's put it that way. I'm not keen on that one. Right, we've got these two left. Coconut and peach and lime and ginger. Please let these be nice. So, coconut and peach. Now, I love the smell of coconut and I do like the smell of peach. So, here we go. 
Oh no, that's nice. That's really nice actually. The coconut and peach is really nice. Mmm. Yeah, more more coconut than peach. I'm not gonna lie, I can't really smell much peach from it. A little tiny a little hint of peach, but mainly I can smell that coconut, but that is really nice. I do like that a lot. I love coconut, the smell of coconut, so lovely. Um and as I say this is lime and ginger, the last one. Oh, oh yeah, that's like fruity. That was like, can't smell anything, can't smell anything. Boom, got it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. As I say, more lime than ginger. I, I found like with these perfumes here that if they've got like two ingredients, one kind of scent overpowers the other, if that makes any sense, like, you know. I, can, I can't really smell the ginger, but I can really get that lime. I love the smell of lime, so yeah, no, I like that one as well. Overall, it was cool. I mean, I liked all these. Hold on. These ones are the yay. They're really nice. These, not so much. <laughs> you, not so much. Um, yeah, not so keen on them ones, but as I say, I'll ask my mum. She might want them or my friend or whatever, so... They'll go somewhere. Someone will use them. But, you know, for a fiver, and I've got all those little ones. I mean, these last ages. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can make these little minis last ages. So, that's all good. Okay. So, that is the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry I struggled a bit with the whole advent calendar thing. Um, but, yeah, no, it was good fun to do. It was something different. And as I say, with, with regards to the advent calendars, I want to do quite a few this year where I kind of get these beauty uh, themed calendars I think you know like Superdrug obviously gonna be doing them uh, Boots, Primark, Primark did some cool ones last year like a nail varnish one and a makeup one um, Aldi's are supposed to be doing it maybe Lidl I don't know we'll just kind of look around Wilkinson's um, yeah because uh, I really enjoyed these videos last year watching other people opening the advent and showing what's inside and yeah, so look out for more kind of videos like that on the channel coming up to Christmas. And you might be saying it's a little bit early to do advent calendars, but why? You know, why? Who cares? Let's, let's have fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And don't forget, check out my other YouTube channel. Subscribe to that as well, please. Minx Laura 123 ASMR is the other channel. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>